you're watching the video, but when you're not watching the video, you just see like the thumbnail that he created. So that's what, does it make sense now when I say yeah. making the thumbnail? Okay. What I love most okay. about teaching creative tech is that it is always different. That technology is, is rapidly always changing, so I can never get and this is the kind of thing that some teachers like hate, but this is the kind of thing that I thrive off of, which is change, and there's always something new to learn. There's always some new you know, technology or even just an update to an existing technology. Like, I like not getting stale, and I like constantly learning new things. And that was part of the reason why I moved from art to creative technology. This is like psh, amazing, always new stuff. People need to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Sometimes you kind of have to play through, well, what's the worst that happens? You come to class the next day and you say, hey guys, that was a total train wreck. Let's start over again. And, and kids see that you're not perfect. Kids see that you know maybe sometimes you have to apologize for something, something goes wrong. We want our students to embrace that mindset. We want them to feel like it's okay to fail. So how wrong is it for us to like want that for our kids but not be comfortable doing it ourselves? We have to practice what we preach. So I mean for them seeing that, seeing us go through that process makes it more comfortable and makes it okay for them. So I think that's super important. We do a lot of new things like kind of you just get to use your mind, use your creati creativity. And we're doing like, we're making like uh, gifts right now out of like pixels and it's really interesting and um, it's a lot of fun. Miss Lieben has a lot of energy and she just like makes it fun and the class is really hype and fun all the time. Mrs. Lieben's really nice. She has a really cool personality. She's really fun and she like makes everybody have a good time and she makes everybody laugh so. Although it feels great to be um, like recognized and nominated, I also know that there are so many teachers in our district that are also deserving of this award. Dare I say, maybe more deserving of this award. I think that the way I want to approach it is to take it as an opportunity to kind of help amplify the voices of those other teachers and the great things that are going on in the district and kind of use this in that way to kind of help, you know, lift everyone up through it. So that's, that's what I hope to achieve. Thank you.